Hi, my name is Akash Amir Vasya. I currently work as a software engineer at Razorpay in India, and I love building products and contributing to open source. Around five years ago, I started working on the Blaze open source project to solve a personal problem I had in sharing files between two different devices. It was around 2018, and I realized that sharing files between two different devices is still a non-trivial task. You either had to install third-party apps or sign up on different platforms and then upload your files and then download your files. All this to just share a file in 2018. This is the problem that I set out to solve with Blaze. Blaze is a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing web app that works on any device, any operating system, and any network to seamlessly transfer files from one device to the other. Since Blaze makes use of peer-to-peer -peer technologies like WebRTC and WebTorrent, it can directly transfer files from one device to the other. Without routing it via a third-party server, as many apps do. To try out Blaze, you can go over to blaze.now.sh and create a room and connect your devices and start sharing files in a matter of few seconds. Fun fact: you don't even need to create an account to use Blaze. It's that simple to get started. Blaze had been a huge productivity booster for me, and in around 2019, I decided to launch Blaze on Product Hunt. And with little to no expectation, it became the number one product of the day, with over 500 upvotes the very next day. There was a lot of engagement and traction in the community, and a lot of people wanted to try out Blaze, but unfortunately they couldn't because the free server I was using to host Blaze that quickly blew up as soon as a lot of traffic started coming in. At this point, I realized Blaze is no longer solving a personal problem that is unique to just me. It is solving a problem that a lot of people share, who want a no-nonsense and a simple file-sharing solution. A lot of people wanted to try out Blaze, but they couldn't because they had to self-host it on their own infrastructure. And self-hosting for a regular person is a very hard term to understand. This is when I decided to reach out to DigitalOcean to see if they would be interested in sponsoring the Blaze open source project. And I'm glad to say, since 2020 till today, 2024. DigitalOcean has been sponsoring the Blaze open source project and has been providing the infrastructure to run the Blaze application. A part of how Blaze works requires long-running servers with web sockets enabled to transfer metadata information of the different devices that are connected on the application. These sort of services are hard to host on serverless environments, but DigitalOcean provides what are called droplets, which are simple long-running servers that you can configure to run these web socket services. The same droplet that we have running the Blaze server that also runs a turn server, which is used as a proxy whenever a device cannot establish a WebRTC connection for some reason. The droplet was created four years ago, and it's fascinating how it's still running with without any interruption, as if it was a brand new droplet. If you are interested in deploying Blaze on your own DigitalOcean infrastructure, you can head over to the Blaze repository. There you will find a nice big blue button to deploy Blaze on the DigitalOcean app platform. The app platform allows you to quickly deploy any application you want without having to dive into the instance and then configuring configuring everything. Everything is made available via a nice single interface that you can use to configure certain settings. If you are interested in self-hosting Blaze on your own infrastructure, there are Docker images provided on Docker Hub that you can use to spin up these services. Docker Hub shows that Blaze has over 800 pools. which means that there are a lot of people using blaze out there to transfer files day in and day out it's fascinating for me to say that blaze started out as an empty project with zero stars on github and today it is at v3 with over 2000 stars a lot of external contributions i have personally spoken about blaze at various conferences and meetups and people are generally very happy about this project and i'm extremely thankful to digital ocean to also be a part of this journey and i hope they continue to do so Blaze also receives around 300 plus weekly views today, and 13% of the users have installed the progressive web app that allows Blaze to deeply integrate with certain operating system features. I encourage you to give Blaze a try by going to blaze.now.sh, and if you find any bug or have any feature requests, do head over to the GitHub repository of the project. Thank you so much.